look what we got um so a friend of ours was cutting some back and um i've just soaked it in water um there one has got a bit of the um they're called golden palms so one's got um a bit of the root system left but i'm not yet sure um, how they're going to do. So I've put it in water. What I'm going to do is wait for the um, sun to go down a little bit or to set a bit more, not to be so bright and dig a, dig three holes because there's three of them here and we'll see if, if they're going to grow. Um, I wanted to, and have grown this from seed but I didn't have the space to put it and um, the other thing um, is that it doesn't like it doesn't actually like from seed being transplanted. So whatever you put it in, whether you put, um, it's probably best to put it in something that you can just put it straight into the ground and um, allow it to grow out from there. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing this, if it will take and grow in the area that I'm gonna put it. And obviously, I guess what I'm gonna have to do is cut back some of the leaves just to give it the root Get, give it time to root and um, establish itself so i just thought i would show you my golden palms and hopefully i will be able to um show you how they grow okay I want to so a friend gave us um some of these uh, golden palms and so we're trying to put them in the front in those spots I planted that one a couple, um, a, about a week ago and um, I'm hoping that it will survive um, we're just about to put this one in the ground I've cut some of the the outer leaves off so that it can just focus on rooting but um, yeah we'll just have to see um, how we get on I do have some seeds of these ones so I'm going to also be planting some seeds along here to give them um, also a chance to grow so um, what I put in this hole so far is the it's a natural fertilizer it's the um, Mexican sunflower leaves and then I'm going to fill it with soil I've got a bit of compost in those pots there and some more of the leaves that I'm going to put around it um, this particular spot is a slight, um, there's a slight, it, it falls, so again, it's quite a breezy here, so we're just hoping that it will, um, you know, it will root and find its happy spot. So this one, I've still got to chop back some of the leaves, and then that will go around the plant to, um, you know, act as the carbon rich um, and break down over time. Okay, so we're going to get on. Okay, so the palms are in. I've cut them right back. So you've got the last, um, the one that's next to grow. So I'm hoping that they catch and I've put the um, leaves, sorry, <laughs> insects on me so I put leaves um, around the edges um, so they'll die down and that big um, okay. anyway so they'll die down and when they're watered it will um, ensure that you know there's um it will feed the soil and i'm still feeding it i'll put the fertilizer in um that's the first one that i did and it seems to be holding i've cut it i, I cut another leaf off there there's one left um what i didn't want was it to be blowing in the wind and then you know to lose its grip so these have got their the, the next leaves to come out and same here so we're just kind of monitoring it over the next say couple of weeks I guess it will take um, to establish um, water them in and I'll just continue to feed the soil and just make sure that they don't dry out okay so um, yeah that's one of the things I learned that you have to you know it, it has to 
try and develop the roots so you cut back the leaves and I've found success with that and I'll show you some other plants um, in another video where I've done that and they've kind of just blossomed so I shall see you soon thanks for watching um, if you've not yet subscribed please do subscribe to the channel take care bye